All right guys, so to start off the look, I'm using the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer to prime the eyes. And this is in the shade number 10, numero dos. And I'm just going to apply that to the eyelid and blend it out with a sponge. Now I'm gonna dip into the Morphe 35P palette. And I'm gonna use this shade here to highlight the brow bone and also the inner corner. And this will ultimately open up the eye and just give our the inner corner a very bright, brightened effect. <laughs> so I'm going to go into these two shades here and create a transition color. Before I do that, I'm going to place some tape down so I can get a nice crisp edge. Then I'm going to start placing those two shadows into the transition area. They're nice muted, like neutral brown tones. Dipping into the Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm taking the color Jilted right below the neutral brown colors and I'm going to kind of mix them together and blend them together so I can create a gradient effect in our transition area so our crease can go from darkest to lightest which will be our highlight color that we placed before this. So yeah, I'm just going to take my time and blend those shadows out until it's nice and seamless and there's no like lines of demarcation or anything like that because that's not cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back into the Morphe 35P palette and take this beautiful purple, it's a royal purple color, and we're gonna place that right below. It's all about layering the shadow so it'll, you know, get like a nice gradient effect like I said before. So yeah. I'm gonna go with an even deeper plum color now and I'm placing that slightly below that. This is going pretty much directly into the crease now and I'm using what looks like a uh, like a very detailed crease brush to apply this into the crease because like I said I want it to be very deep now to deepen that even further I'm gonna take a black and you can use pretty much any black color this is probably one that's in the 35p and I'm placing that right on top of that plum color now I'll be cutting the crease like usual using the same con concealer that I used before the full coverage concealer from makeup forever So I have here the MAC Tribal Collection. This is the quad, the Wild Horses quad. And I am taking the color Blue Mesa and I'm placing that onto the lid. And you guys, this color is freaking bomb. Like, I ne I would never have thought to put, put these colors together, but I don't know. I was just kind of like, you know, being daring and whatnot. So yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and redefine the crease with a black and a small detail brush and then I'm gonna go and blend those colors out once more so it's all nice and seamless to add just a little bit something extra I'm gonna go in with this studio liner from NYX and it's a gold color and I'm just going to place like a little line or liner into the crease just you know something extra it's not necessary, but I like I like the way that it looked. <laughs> I am applying my liner. This is the e.l.f. liquid liner, like always, in black. And I'm doing a pretty dramatic standard wing. Winging it out, you know, pretty, I guess it's pretty big. Moving on to the face, I'm going to prime and moisturize using the Smashbox Primerizer Moisturizer slash Primer and I'm placing that on like the perimeter of my face and on the inside like the T-zone area, I'm going to apply the Becca Ever Matte Pore Perfecting Primer. You have to pat this in, do not rub it in because you'll, it just, it'll be a mess, it'll, yeah, not good. <laughs> and I'm going to color correct using a blush. This is my Shop Miss A blush quad palette and I'm using that orange blush to color correct the dark spots on my face. And I'm gonna set it into place using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And this stuff smells so freaking good, like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to apply my foundation today, which is the, well, <laughs> my foundation today is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the color 340. And I am falling in love with this foundation all over again. I don't know why I stopped using it. 
it's literally like the perfect foundation of life lasts forever and looks amazing on the skin to highlight I'm gonna use the Tarte Maracuja oil concealer and I'm going to I think this is the color medium sand I believe I'll leave like the exact name in the script description box down below along with a detailed list of all the items that I used in this tutorial I'm gonna blend that out using my sponge my sponge is damp and yeah I'm gonna blend that out and then go back with my foundation brush to kind of blend everything together I don't know if you guys noticed but I do probably sound a little bit congested because I am getting over a little head cold sorry <laughs> um, I'm like super sick I literally get sick every New Year's it's so annoying every New Year's I get sick like I'm either throwing up or like congested or like have the flu or a fever and it's really annoying <laughs> But anyways, I'm going to set my makeup using the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. And I I don't know if I like this powder or not anymore because like I don't, it just, it feels very drying and it sticks to, it kind of sticks to my concealer weird. I don't know. <laughs> but I let that bake for a couple minutes. Yes, I still bake. <laughs> and I'm going to set the rest of my face using the Too Faced foundation powder and this is the cocoa cocoa powder or something like that i didn't even know Too faced had a foundation powder until i seen it at my cosmetics company store and i was like i have to try this because it smells like cocoa it's amazing it smells like chocolate but yeah i do actually really like that powder i'm gonna rehydrate the skin using my mac charged water I love how this melts all my makeup together and I'm highlighting using Jeffree Star King T highlighter my favorite highlighter ever I love this stuff For my lashes today, I will be using the Huda Beauty Lashes, and I believe this is in the style Scarlet. I'm almost positive it is. Um, to line my lips, I'm taking Max Chestnut Lip Liner, my favorite on earth, obviously. <laughs> and I'm going to outline and um, draw on my lips. <laughs> For lipstick, I will be using the Fenty Beauty Candy Venom Mademoiselle lipstick and this formula let me tell you is bomb okay so what can you compare these to I can compare these to probably the MAC um, matte lipsticks but they're like a little bit creamier and they're just so comfortable on the lips and I'm like I, I really love this formula it's a really great formula the colors that she chose are a little bit odd but I mean hey that's <laughs> that's Rihanna so yeah um I'm all for the Mademoiselle lipsticks they're bomb like definitely definitely pick it up if you have not tried them already now that I'm thinking about it you can probably also compare these to the Urban Decay comfort matte lipsticks those are like that's one of my favorite matte formulas like ever in life so yeah <laughs> um you can also pair this look with a nude lip that's always always an option you don't have to go as bold as i do because i know that it's quite a statement it's, yeah so <laughs> that's pretty much the final look 
um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye Sparklets!